what is up everyone welcome back to another video today we actually got what was your biggest surprise on arriving in the netherlands so let's see the surprises people have from different countries as i see here she is from london so let's go ahead and see the different opinions of each person without further ado let's get it guys london is how calm and well-behaved dutch drunk people are <laughs> Uh, I, I see why. The first time that I came to the Netherlands, I was amazed how people were sympathetic and friendly with me. The surprising me is the country is so small, but oh. the people's mind is so huge. Oh. The thing that has astonished me is how friendly they are. If you pass them when you're biking, everyone says hi. In the first couple of days, I wasn't responding because in California, we'd never do that. Whenever I've just been like cycling around or I've been like walking to the shops, people will always say hi. I find it strange because you don't know them. You never get that in Southeast London. It gives you a friendly uh, atmosphere between you and sometimes it opens up into a conversation. A guy would be walking his dog and then he'd start talking about the weather and or whatever after he said hi. You have to say hello to 40, 50 people on the way. They are very polite, I think over polite. Uh, guy came out with his truck. He had to make a left-hand turn and I was just sitting at the bench. He pulled out and he was going like this uh, for about 10 seconds or so, trying to get my attention so he could say hi to me. Wow, really? When I came here, all my girlfriends at home said, oh, you have a little Linda. <laughs> and I said, why? Why is it so special? Oh, they are so open. They are so nice. They are this. They are this. And they are. The Dutch mentality. Wow. The people, that, that's interesting. They are direct. Dutch people say everything very directly. You can have all kinds of thinking. Nobody will feel strange, feel shocked. They speak very loudly. Some Japanese people. Loud, okay. When I'm in the class, I have to speak louder than normal. One thing I found really surprising about here is that people give out their bank account numbers to, <laughs> to other what? people. <laughs> like Why? That just never happened in the United Why States. Why would they and do I that though? I don't get it. I said, okay, well how? Here's my bank account number. Just, that just oh, would not well, just like that. Okay. Coming from the south of Italy, it was just used to the fact that people would not stick to their words. So what I was very surprised is uh, what was the, the difference between the Italian way of of hiring person and the way that they instead do it here. The most surprising and the lack of hierarchy that we see in our organizations compared to the United States. In Japan, in the school, we have to respect teachers, respect all people. In the Netherlands, after the class, we always drink beer or <laughs> do karaoke with my teachers. We are very equal, so that is very impressive for me. I found it very surprising that they throw this most amazing carnival oh, party carnival. down in the south, the Catholic wow. south, on a par with Venice or parts of South America. You know, that was to see the Dutch going totally I've wild. never actually seen carnival <laughs> in the Netherlands. Maybe, shock. Maybe that's a video idea I should <laughs> check park. out. Everyone was. Let me know what you think. I knew there was like tall people here. But then when you stand in a concert and there's just no way you're going to see anything. <laughs> Ever. The smell of the country. You can feel the smell of the cows or the sheep. Oh, Surprised okay. Me. That is really surprising because this is everywhere. And I felt the smell and I said, oh my gosh, yeah. I... Into <laughs> I stepped into something and I started to look my shoe and it was nothing there. And I said, oh my gosh, a bird pooping my hair. And I started to look my hair. Then I said, oh my gosh, maybe I'm sick. I, I, you know. We don't have the alarm. First time I was here, I didn't know about it. And suddenly, that the, ooh, 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 ooh. I don't know, first it was for war and then for flood. Very, very scary. There is a couple of okay. bridges. Didn't know that. Bridges are for planes. So you are driving and plane crosses bridge right above your head. That uh, still is funny for me. Wow. Prostitutes on windows. That's pretty surprising. The red light district. I didn't know that like a country would have that. I was in Amsterdam yeah, walking that, around that is on a weird, Sunday morning, to be honest. and I was very very tired, and I needed some coffee. So I politely asked a little old Dutch lady who obviously just came out of church where the nearest coffee shop was. 
not knowing what a coffee shop meant in the Netherlands, she proceeded to yell at me and smack me with her purse. Ooh. All foreigners will like go to a coffee shop and smoke weed than Dutch people. The drug culture is very small. You go to England where it is illegal, straight up, and more people in England smoke weed than they do in the Netherlands. The service here tends to be more focused on uh, the human experience rather than making a quick buck. If I uh, walk into a restaurant, for example. After we order, we usually don't see the waiter again. We have to flag them down to get refills and uh, also getting the bill sometimes is a problem. Oh, the, I, I, hate, I hate it when that happens, when you want to just leave and you can't find a waitress to pay. That just gets on my nerves, honestly. Just sit and enjoy the conversation that's around me and go when I'm ready to go, unless of course it's closing time. It's incredibly a human experience focused. How the hospital or the doctors work here is very different. If you go to India or the US or everywhere, then you've been pumped up with a lot of antibiotics. And here, uh, yeah. here if you go to the hospital, you get paracetamol, that's all. You get, okay, wait for three days, see if the fever is still there, okay after that you come fully different than most of the countries I would say. The biggest surprise to me is that everyone bikes. Yeah, I find that everyone, so literally. The older people. Literally everyone. Bike. They're still able to, to get around. It's amazing. Wow. You see three people on the one feet, one yeah. riding, one on this side, one hanging on the back. <laughs> the parking lots would have like 30 cars and 900 bikes. 10% of the parking lot was cars and 90% was bikes. I knew that this is a biking place and I loved that about Holland, but yeah, they're not afraid to run you over. Everybody riding a bicycle and you have really a road for the bicycles everywhere. It was really a surprise for me. I have to no. watch everywhere all the time yeah. because yeah, yeah. bikers are coming from all the directions. And, yes. and I was not sure if I'm taking the correct road. Am I on the bike road now or what is happening? <laughs> the wind. The first two days I couldn't feel my face. Windmills. I wanted windmills. always to stop everywhere and make pick of every windmill. I understood that there was rain here, but I did not fully appreciate how much. My oh. very first year was the coldest, wettest year in over a hundred years. The <laughs> steps. I remember just how thin and tall the houses were, looking at them, I wondered how people could even live in them. Coming from Ireland, I found the organisation of everything a total surprise. How Dutch people are so precise with time. Here the truck yeah. comes in five minutes, it's five minutes, it's living. And I was always the one running behind it. You're standing at the bus stop and it says bus in one minute. Mm. And it comes. The shop's closing at 5.30 <laughs> or 6 o'clock. You can't buy anything after that. Mm -hmm. That was like a big shock for me. I had tears in my eyes. I couldn't get to a store after six o'clock or yeah. eight o'clock now. At first it really irritated me because I thought, oh god, so organized here. The more I sort of relaxed into it and the more time I spent here, I think, oh, I think I'll go over to Holland for a little bit of organization <laughs> for a while. Wow. <laughs> wow, really, really. That surprised me, to be honest. Very interesting stuff here from each person and each of them were from actually different countries so we got different opinions from each one. But well guys, let me know if anything surprised you in this video. Comment that down below. If you've got any other video suggestion guys, drop the link in the comments below. I'll go check it out and react to it for you guys. And thank you guys if you've made it till the end. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel and see you on the next video. Peace out.